Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios hi this is me i'm Austin Zell, also known as me i no time for love check out my latest book missing available in print and ebook formats on amazon it's now time for the mike wagner show powered by sonic web studios and sponsored by international award-winning author mia mosin zia of missing the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia molson If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson Available on Amazon paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries. Two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Menemis. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Z. Available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and more. Also, heard on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few other networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show at the end of any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear. Makes great gifts 24-7. Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson ZM for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also T-shirts, pop sockets hoodies, and also phone cases and more, Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you give generously today. We're here with a terrific lady who was on with me for a, a, a couple of years back, uh, getting the funk out, and she's back with a vengeance with better humans and also having a brand new series, uh, which we're going to be talking about. She's a journalist, speaker, author, and radio host of um, Get the Funk Out at KUCI 88.9 FM. And she um, started the book uh, and the program after uh, losing a childhood friend and began online uh, mentoring um, series in 21 to help uh, high school and college students uh, find uh, internships, employment opportunities during the pandemic. And she's also part of the Outside the Box series, which is the mental health and wellness podcast and also vlog and event series um, basically created for Gen Z and up. And, and she's happy to uh, talk about the latest being outside the box and better humans. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Los Angeles, backed by popular man, journalist and speaker and radio host of Get the Funk Out, ladies and gentlemen, Janine Bernstein. Janine, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good Thanks morning. for joining us once again. Thank you. It's so great to be here. Well, it's great to have you back as well, too. We had you on two years ago. You talked about the, the book, Get the Funk Out, and um, you started yep. the book in the program uh, after losing a close childhood friend. Yes. But since then, you also have uh, moved on uh, having a, 
being part of the Outside the Box series. And um, you also participated in that. You also got some amazing programs. You have a new book uh, coming out soon, Better Humans. And before getting to all the updates, uh, once again, just uh, give us a very quick quick recap on how you got started. Uh, let's see how I got started. I pivoted. Very, very quick recap. Yes. Okay. Quick recap. I decided to get into radio years ago when I moved to California and I started a, a show. I was a DJ of a show called Moms Rock the House. But in 2010, I lost my friend and it was so tragic. I took a year off. I decided to call my new show, which is a talk show, Get the Funk Out. And it's I'm still doing this show for 11 years now, 11 plus wow. years. And over that time, my dad got sick with cancer. He had stage four colon cancer. I thought, I think I have an idea for a book because people were sharing so many stories of loss and growth and meaning. So I wrote this book and I would love to grab a copy. When we wrap up, I'll just show your viewers. But it's uh, called Get the Funk Out, Bleep Happens, What to Do Next. And it's filled with stories and inspiration as well as my own journey about staying resilient all my life. Mm -hmm. and, and plus, too, that the fact you've been a radio host for quite some time and um, you've had some interesting guests as well, too, sharing some of the stories, maybe some of the stories um, they've experienced as well, too, along with uh, Get the Funk Out, maybe some of that. And um, also, too, like, you know, afterwards, it's like you've done a lot uh, during the pandemic. You know, we 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 talked about yeah. that in 21. So, you know, some of the stories, some of the latest and, um, you know, what you also did uh, during the pandemic. Sure. So here I was working at home because we had to go remote with KUCI. And I thought, I'm going to go on camera and start doing things on Zoom. And I had a lot of students approaching me on LinkedIn. And I, I never turned anyone down any age, really. And so we started talking and I would mentor them and they'd say, I lost my internship. I lost my job. Do you have any advice? And I would just talk to them. We'd brainstorm. And Typically, we'd come up with a plan and they would nail that plan. So I decided to start outside the box as a way to bring optimism and hope to people that had really lost opportunities and were feeling very down in the pandemic. And so I just I developed a mentoring series. And then along the way, I decided I was part of One Million Cups New York, which I love this group I'm part of once a month. I decided to start an online virtual series on outside the box called the Mental Health and Wellness Creative Arts Series because I am a mental health advocate. There are so many people struggling, so many different ages. There are so many reasons why they're struggling. And I wanted to create a platform to give Gen Z on up an opportunity to teach us what they know, everything from the power of poetry to doodling for mental health, yoga, meditation, creative writing, everything, even a science of happiness panel, which I'm making intergenerational. So I'm so excited. We just launched last week. This is actually my baby. I launched. I'm the founder and creative director of Outside the Box. And it's really exciting if people take a look and they go to otbseries.com and they can see all the different workshops. I'm even doing scholarships and I have sponsorship opportunities. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And what was that one precise moment for you that got you uh, thinking outside the box, this series? What was that one precise moment that said, this is what I'm going to do here? What was that one precise moment for you? I was actually on a meeting uh, with One Million Cups New York. It was 5.30 in the morning, my time. And someone mentioned they were building a camp app. And I said, well, how many apps or how many programs are there do you have for mental health and wellness? And he said, none. I said, you have no camps the advertising for mental health and wellness? Zero. I thought, there, there's something I want to do. I, I want to fill a need because people feel very disconnected, Mike. There's so much research. I was even a um, fellowship with Columbia's Ainge Boom Academy in 2021. And we studied the research with depression, anxiety. And when you bridge generations, whether it's me with Gen Z or me with someone who's retired, magic happens. You form connections. I mean, everybody has some kind of experience to offer. We can all learn from connecting. Mm -hmm. You also offer as well, too, you also have introduction to hip hop and uh, radical self-acceptance. And uh, we did talk about yoga, meditation, creative mm -hmm. writing and um, children's book illustrating. That's a rather interesting one. I like that one. <laughs> well, we're going to she's going to do that's Cassie. Uh, she's going to do uh, illustrative journaling as well. She's a graduate of Syracuse University where I went and I've known her for several years now. And I love seeing everybody's journey from where they were and where they are now and and I also love the opportunity of giving uh, people who are maybe just out of college or just a few years out of college an opportunity to learn how to launch their own workshop. And I have a background in training and development. So 
I sometimes need to mentor somebody or they're perfectly fine. They can stand alone, but I do teach them about instructional design and, and that this is fun. This is not meant to be stressful. Mm -hmm. And you also have the program running through the summer as well, too. And uh, there's other participants getting involved by using tech to advocate and and create and also the real face of mental health, dance to your own rhythm, writing your own way. And, um, you know, tell us a bit about those. And how about some of the um, other uh, subjects uh, you're going to have as well, too, and some of their um, up and coming? Sure. Well, I want to give a shout out to Judy Stakey, who is uh, a previous former exec with Warner Music. And one of her big clients was Cheryl Crow. She's teaching songwriting, which is super exciting. That's coming up. Uh, But also I contacted the uh, Mental Health Youth Action Forum participants. There was like 30 of them that went to D.C. to meet with the president and, uh, and the U.S. Surgeon General. And I reached out to them and several of them are teaching workshops as well. We're going to actually have one I'm going to be co hosting. Uh, with someone by the name of Zane, and we're going to do something on grief and loss and writing and how writing is a tremendous outlet. Uh, But there's, there's so many interesting things coming up. And I'd love people to get involved. Again, I'm actually offering scholarships. If people buy a pack, they want to give them away, they want to be a sponsor, there's plenty of opportunity to reach out and help others right now. And and then how does one uh, get involved? And how how do you participate? Or how do you sign up? Right on the website, if they go to otbseries.com and they click on events, they can see all the different workshops. They can click the button book now on the very first page, which is otbseries.com. If you scroll down, you'll see some of the sponsors, one of which is Mental Health America, Island 17, which is a really cool company and so many others. You will see a sponsorship packet you can download. And if people purchase, if they want to underwrite and they purchase a class pack, we will offer a free series, the entire series to either their choosing, it could be a nonprofit or a student or a school or anyone. Okay. And, and plus too, as well, that they also have a new book uh, coming out soon, Better Humans. We'll talk about that. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first product. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has got great reviews in Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Casti, Forge Riley, and Manilis. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in 100 countries. Make sure you take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, tw- TikTok, and Twitter today for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Dia for uh, great books, merchandise, and more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Dia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show.com, and make sure you give generously today. We're here with journalist, speaker, author, and radio host of Get the Funk Out. Janine Bernstein here on the Mike Wagner Show, and uh, we talked about the um, Out of the Box series, and you also have a, a new book that's coming out soon, and also you also wrote during the pandemic, Better Humans, and uh, tell us more about that. So I'm still writing the book. I'm doing a lot of research, and it's called Better Humans, What the Mental Health Pandemic Teaches Us About Humanity, and it really came about because of my work in the pandemic, because of my conversations with everyone Gen Z and up and how hurting people are and everything I keep seeing in the news daily posts from Mental Health America or anything to do with police violence and climate change and diversity and equity, inclusion, et cetera, et cetera. It's it's huge. And we were in a mental health crisis before the pandemic. Now we are in a mental health pandemic. And I wanted to write about it. I wanted to talk to people of all ages, all different backgrounds. And that's what I've been doing. And it will be the same publisher as my first book, which is, this is my first book, Mike. Mm -hmm. Get the Funk Out, Bleep Happens, What to Do Next. It'll be published by Post Hill Press and Simon & Schuster. It'll be coming out uh, 2023. 
Mm, that's really amazing too. And of course, uh, with the book as well too, and um, how much you cover on PTSD as well too. That's been really talked about a lot with PTSD and um, yes. some of the other things. Yes. And what I, what I want to point out too, is this has been a time for people to really peel back their layers, including myself. So if you've been kind of suppressing something or you went through something when you were younger, I feel like having all that time alone in isolation or just not being able to do your normal routine gives you time to really think. And that thinking can be a really good thing. And I actually, and I never would have admitted this years ago, I started going to therapy about a year ago because I was really struggling in the pandemic. And I'm hearing more and more stories, especially with Gen Z. This is a generation that feels very comfortable saying, I need a mental health day or I'm going to the beach for my mental health. Whereas our generation and up, they would never say, um, I can't come into work because I need a mental health day, mm. right? I remember those days where you say, I need, I need a break. They'll probably just say, they give you a warning, write you up, or you're pretty much out the door. So, yeah, I, mean, we grew, I mean, we grew up in, a, in an era where it's like, you had to really tough it out. But now it's just like, you know, I guess the big question is, it's like, how do you get people to understand, you know, you know, how we managed it and how they manage. It seems like you got to like find a way to bridge the gap somehow, especially when it comes to taking days off. You have to be a self-advocate. And I'm also, I'm also calling out in my book that schools, policymakers, not teachers, teachers have been slammed with the pandemic. Okay. They've been slammed. They're actually leaving the profession, but, and even school counselors, right? That's one example of a hard hit community. But I'm just calling on, you know, policymakers to have change because schools have STEM and STEAM, but we've never had mental health embedded into the curriculum as a mandatory thing. Some schools will say we have mental health week once, mm -hmm. once a year. That's not enough. There are a lot of needs right now. And there's a lot of pressure on the teachers and the staff. I'm calling for preventative care, for new procedures in place. So students feel heard because they don't feel heard and they don't feel like there are the resources in place to address their needs. Mm -hmm. And what are some examples when it comes to uh, school policy? What changes? Mental health curriculum that, you know, that if you see something, you can do something. Students can be trained. I mean, I can go back to the recent shootings. I remember ABC News interviewing some students and they said, we were scared of this kid. Or we saw he had marks on his face and he proudly said, oh, I like the way it looks. I did it. So for students, when they see something to not be scared, to have some procedures in place, not only if they notice something that frightens them, but maybe they're coming from a place from home where they're being abused. They don't have enough food, et cetera, et cetera, because it really does happen in schools. We're just we have not addressed all of these issues properly. Mm -hmm. I also thought about the whole thing with the school policies is that, you know, back in the day we were growing up, it's like you, you learn how to, like, you know, you know, take it out on the courtyard to see who won. You also talked out and everything else. But do, do you feel the policies um, have been outdated and for like how long, maybe 10, 20, 30 years or so? Yeah, I think either they're outdated, or they've never been in place because students don't want to come to school and and have to, you know, okay, let's go right into math, let's go. Or they, they go to a counselor and they have an issue and the counselor doesn't know what they're doing or how to handle it. They want to know that there are people there to support them, not baby them, but support them, to hear them. They also want adults to actually share their stories. I'm the first to share my stories, Mike. I was a DF student, okay? I had a crappy home life and things were really hard. Students want to hear it. They don't want fluff or they, they want to know that somebody really can relate to them because they don't feel heard. So I believe that schools have to have a complete overhaul. I mean, STEM and STEAM, like I said, it's been the focus on do really well, get into a good school. But if you don't have your mental health in K-12, where are you going to be in college and after college? Mm -hmm. You're going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. And that's another concern, too. And do you think um, helicopter parenting could also take part of it, too? It's like, you know, parenting has obviously changed over the years, too. It's just like, you know, you know, the old way they say it's like, you know, it's done helicopter. It's kind of like it, it was in for a while. And it's kind of backfired. And I, and I guess the big question is like, you know, where do you draw the line? I don't think helicopter parenting was ever really in. I mean, it can be suffocating. And I've learned to like back down, give them space. And if your kid doesn't want to talk to you, you're not alone. There's a lot of kids that don't want to talk to their parents, but see if they'll talk to somebody else. Suggest a therapist, suggest a coach, suggest somebody 
and offer outlets. You can't push them to do something, but I've noticed even my own situation saying, hey, have you ever thought about taking a, a pottery class? How about an art class? And you just might tap into something that they will love long-term throughout their lifetime. Mm -hmm. And how, how about some meal suggestions? I would say, because I know a lot of students have felt very depressed and isolated. And what happened was they hated being on Zoom. Then they got used to being on Zoom. Then they didn't, didn't want to go back in person because it's very awkward and uncomfortable. So trying to introduce the idea of consider joining a club, consider trying different things because we, they need hobbies. The phones have been a huge issue, Mike. Oh because my God. Yeah, they're in the rooms. We got mm -hmm. blue light. We've got addiction. We've got comparing ourselves to other people, fear of missing out. I could go on and on. And so it's a huge thing. But when they get, they take a tech break and they connect with somebody outside, go for a walk, you know, make plans, go bring a picnic, get a picnic lunch with a couple of friends, do something, move your body. There's so many things, especially in the field of positive psychology, find your flow state. For me, Mike, I bet you'll never guess what I did in the pandemic. Hmm. A new, a totally. I, I think, I think you stumped me on that already. <laughs> okay. I decided I wanted to learn how to ride a three wheel motorcycle. Nice. So I signed up at a local college and it was such a blast. Plus no phone, right? Can't have a phone on. Can't be checking my texts. No phone. It was challenging, but not too challenging. The next thing I thought, I want to get my motorcycle license. I got online at 7 a.m. I did the four hour safety course. Then I went to the track for five hours for two days in a row. It was tough, but it was fun. Again, no phone. Nobody could contact me for two days. It was like a mini mental vacation. Nice. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend doing something where you can disconnect. Huh. That is rather interesting. And, and, and what can people get out, get out the buck from the soon to be better humans? And also, um, you know, what can people get out of the, um, the series as well, too, outside the box? It's a wonderful time to explore a creative outlet that maybe you have put it aside a long time ago. Let's say you used to love art or you used to love creative writing. We're bringing it back. And you're going to learn from people of all ages. And also, maybe you have a bucket list. Maybe you're thinking, you know, I always wanted to learn about songwriting. I, I think I've got some ideas to be a songwriter. Well, Judy Stakey is one of our workshop leaders. She's amazing. So there's really something for everyone. And again, I'm bringing in more things. I'm doing a panel with the science of happiness. There's, I'm looking to keep the series going throughout the year. It's just a natural extension of my work and the book that's coming out. Uh, so we'll see. But again, I'm looking for supporters and sponsors. It's not astronomical. This is not a money maker for me. It's just to help support the series, keep it going, and also give away free tickets. Mm. And, and, and how and how do ones get free tickets? You can go to the website. You can enter your email. We're also doing buy one, get one. If you want to get a pack of tickets, you can go on the front page. There's a sponsorship and underwriter package. If you purchase some kind of package, we will give you tickets to the entire series to give away to your choice, or we can give it away to a youth group or whoever. Okay. That sounds amazing. And, uh, and, and what's the website again for the outside box series and where can we uh, get more information about your uh, new book, better humans and where can we get your book, uh, get the funk out at? Sure. So uh, the series is O T B Oscar Tom boy series.com O T B series.com. And let's see, you can find out more about me at janinebernstein.com. Let me spell it. J-A-N-E-A-N-E-B-E-R-N-S-T-E-I-N. There'll be updates on the book. I am still writing it. It should be out in 2023. And what else? Uh, people want to find out about being a guest, they can shoot me an email at info at otbseries.com. We will certainly do so. And once again, we're with uh, Janine Bernstein here on the Mike Wagner Show with uh, her new book, Better Humans, coming out soon, along with Outside the Box. Janine, a very big thank you for your time, as always. Looking forward to having you in soon. And make sure you keep us up to date. Once again, tell us about your website and how do people contact you? Where can people purchase and get tickets and more information? Sure. OTBseries.com. You can find out more about my book, Get the Funk Out. You can just Google the book, Get the Funk Out, and Janine Bernstein will pop up. It's available everywhere. Amazon, Simon & Schuster, Barnes & Noble, everywhere you get books. 
And if you want to get tickets to the series, uh, you can just, again, go to the website, otbseries.com. You can shoot us an email if you want to do a buy one, get one. We're offering that throughout the summer. Info at otbseries.com. We will certainly do that. Once again, Janine, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic as always. Looking forward to having you soon. Great to have you back. And don't forget to keep in touch. And you've got a great future ahead of you. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Always great to be here. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia of Missing and powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms and, of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>